My name is Heather Flake, and I am here on behalf of Life Coach University. Emotions matter so much, you guys. How we feel dictates what we do. I mean, just think about it. When you're feeling happy and grateful and excited and proud, you show up in like a loving, caring way. You step outside of yourself. You do all these things. When you feel anxious and nervous or afraid or um, like disappointed or doubtful, we're kind of like reclusive. We find it hard to give or find it hard to do the things that we want to do. I feel like there's, it's kind of this taboo thing. It's like, oh, feelings are for women. Like women are just emotional and it's just, that's a woman thing. No, emotions are a human thing. You guys, if you are a human, emotions are going to be a complex part of your life that you get to navigate. An emotion is created first in your brain by a thought. So we have circumstances. Those are just like facts things that happen to us in our life. And then we have a thought about a circumstance and that thought triggers your brain to release a chemical into your body that you experience like as a vibration or an emotion. So all of your emotions, everything that you are feeling first comes from a thought in your brain. What this means is 50% of the time your life is so good. You're happy, you're excited, you're proud, you're feeling great. And the other half of life, you're just grumpy, you're mad, you're depressed, you're discouraged, you're defeated, you're afraid. Life is just 50-50. It's just half and half. Half amazing and wonderful, half really not amazing and really not wonderful. Okay? Now, when I introduce this, people are like, wait, what? No, for me, Heather, it's like 80-20 or 60-40. Like, we just want this positive side to be the biggest and just like a little bit of negative. Like we want to spare ourselves as much negative emotion as we possibly can. And I want to say, why? Life is 50, 50 is really helpful for me to adopt because when things start to go ways that I don't really like, or that I'm not thrilled about, I'm just like, oh yeah, nothing has gone wrong here. Life is 50, 50. It's like in my religion, we totally believe that there's opposition in all things. Like we believe that God created us and we came down to earth and we just know that we are going to face opposition in everything, even in ourselves. Okay. So when things start to happen, I'm just like, oh yeah, this is, I'm just in that part that sucks right now because I'm a human and it's okay. Instead of answering to your emotions. So for example, like when I feel the boredom and the boredom says to me, Hey, Heather, go eat frozen chocolate chips. And I'm like, okay, yeah, good idea. That'll make me feel better. Instead of doing that, I can just sit with the boredom. Did you know this? Same with overwhelm. If you start feeling overwhelmed, guess what? You can just sit down and instead of grabbing your phone and instead of grabbing a snack and instead of you know, doing those things that you're doing, notice you're doing those things to try to make yourself feel better. No, just do overwhelm, just do boredom. Like, oh, hey, I'm feeling bored. Let's do this. Let's experience what it's like to be a very bored woman right now. Then I don't need chocolate chips because I'm just being bored. Oh, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Let's just, let's just feel what overwhelm is like in my body. What's happening when I feel overwhelmed. You want to just sit down. You don't have a phone with you. There's definitely no wine with you. There's no chocolate chips. Okay. You're just sitting in a chair, your feet are on the floor. You close your eyes. And first you just want to tell yourself, okay, what emotion am I even feeling? Then once you name the emotion, you want to go into your body. So you're like, this is the thing you guys, you're just trying to be really intentional about what's happening in your body. So you close your eyes and you're like, okay, where is that feeling? Is it in my stomach? Is it in my shoulders? Is it in my back? Is it in my neck? Is my heart beating? Like what's happening in your body? You go there. We're always trying to run away from it, 
right? That's what the wine and the chocolate and the exercising and the Netflix, that's what it allows us to do for a brief second. But then we always end up feeling even more negative emotion. So it's not real. It's fake. So once you find it in your body, then I just ask myself questions to help me stay with the emotion, meaning what color, what color is this emotion that I'm feeling? And what is it like? What is it? it, what's, what's its texture? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it moving? Is it fast? Is it slow? What does it make me want to do? Like, I just ask myself all these kinds of questions. I do this with my clients in sessions. I'm like, are you down? Do you want to feel some emotion? And they're always like, "Mm, okay. And we just, and I'm like, no, just go to it. Stay with it. Keep telling me what's happening. Why, why am I feeling this way? And this is kind of like a check. If you say, because my husband didn't take out the trash eh, because I weigh 194 pounds, eh, those are circumstances. Those are the facts. Why are you feeling this way? Because of a thought and it's fine. I'm not telling you, you even need to change how you feel. You just want to recognize that. Oh yeah. I'm the one creating this. And that's the best news ever, because that means you're in charge of what happens next. 